All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Issachar coming back at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakwakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right, in today's lesson, we're going to go into how the hopeful elect, in particular, the 144,000, the house of David, which is 12,000 men from each tribe. And there's 12 tribes. So that makes up 144,000 who will receive, you know, spiritual power very soon. The Lord is, is about to show the world miracles through the men that he set up, his elect. So without further ado, let's, let's get right into it. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 9. In verse 21 And I saw And spared it greatly And have kept me a grape of the cluster And a plant of a great people So right here The Lord is telling us In the book of 2nd Ezra Chapter 9 verse 21 That out of a cluster of grapes You know a big old cluster You know the Lord You know that's how special the the elect are the 144,000 You know it's like there's a whole Cluster of grapes and the Lord says Well I'll take that one grape right there You know throw the throw the rest away You know I'll take that one right there Just that one That's how the 144,000 are You know in this world Compared to, to billions and billions of people You know the, the Lord says Okay I just you know I choose them right there I only need that small number That's it So right here, Second Ezra chapter 9, 21, you know, it's saying, I'll read it again. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster. So he only chose, you know, one grape. You know, the Lord said, I, you know, I, I picked that grape right there, you know, and throw the, west, throw the rest away. And a plant of a great people. 22nd verse, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. See, because the wicked are born in vain. Okay, not the, you know, the hopeful elect, you know, also the one third, you know, who are fighting for salvation, you know, praying for their, you know, for those who believe in the Lord. Because the Lord already tells us those who don't believe in the Lord, they're already condemned. So there's nothing that anyone can do for them. If they, especially if they don't believe in the Lord, they don't even have a chance. But if they do believe in the Lord, there's a, they got a chance. But you know those who don't even believe in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Okay, you know, and you know, you try to, uh, you know, your teachers out there try to, you know, you already told them, you already warned them, and they just can't get it. You know, there's nothing that, you know, that you can do. You know, the Lord has to wake that individual up. And the Lord says, them who don't believe, they're already condemned. Because the Lord has to wake you up. Let the multitude perish, which was born in vain. This is why there's billions and billions of people on the planet Earth, because they're here for their judgment. And let my great be kept, so the elect. And my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. Because the elect are going through trials and tribulations, but the Lord is, you know, putting his elect, you know, through the fire, you know, is trying, is trying his elect, you know, so to the, the multitudes and to the rest of the world, it may seem, you know, like the hopeful elect, you know, like they're down and out, you know, but really they're in peace, you know, but they're going through trials and tests from our heavenly father, Yahweh. But that's, you know, the Lord's making them perfect. Through patience. That's why the Lord tells us, let patience have her perfect work. Because through trials, tribulation, you know, the elect are being refined. 
you know, they're, they're getting stronger and stronger, you know, at the end, they're going to shine. You see, not like, uh, not like the bug outs out there. You know, you put hell on bug outs, you know, they're just going to weather away. You know, the ones who don't believe, you know, they can't, uh, they can't, they can't stay in the fire. They can't be uh, refined. You know, they're like the, like a dry, you know, thorn bush. You know, it's, uh, it'll, get, it'll get consumed right away. Why? Because they don't have a foundation. They don't have Yahweh Shai. Revelation 3, Revelation 11, and verse 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, so the northern and the southern kingdom. And they shall prophesy a thousand and two hundred and three square days, clothed in sackcloth. So the northern and the southern kingdom. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the most high of the earth. So the true prophets and teachers are from both the southern kingdom and northern kingdom which make up of the 12 tribes. All right, we're one nation that consists of 12 tribes, but we split into the Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom after King Solomon. Verse five, and if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out their mouth and devoureth their enemies by the word, because this word, the Lord's word, Okay, it's uh, it's digging deep into you know the uh, you know these leaders and uh, the wicked because they can't they can't take it you know because the the word of the Lord is sharper than a two-edged sword you know it's it's straight you know it it hits fast you know it's raw and uncut the Lord you know he 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 gives it you know, to the people playing. You know, there's no games, no gimmicks, you know, not going around the bush. No, it's, you know, the Lord tells it what it is. And, you know, if that's why the Lord says, you know, preach the word, whether people be for here or forbear. So if people believe, beautiful, you know, they have a chance at salvation and the kingdom. But if they don't, we already know what their end is going to be. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Because the Lord says, touch, my, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Because the prophets, who are the 144,000, are very special. They were hand-selected by Yahweh and given to Yahweh Shai. You know, the prophets were chosen out of billions of people on the earth to teach His Word. Because this is the Lord's Word. This is not no religion. Okay, this is not no 501c3 charter. You know? No. You know, this is the Lord's the two, the true teachers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, teach the Lord's words and what they mean. That way his children can understand them and can lead them to salvation. So they can go on the right path. That's it. That's why the teachers and prophets were set up to tell the wicked their latter end and to also tell the righteous you know, to go down the right path, you know, to go right, not left. Revelation 11 and 6, these have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood, just like Moses, okay? Look at everything that Moses did in the time of Pharaoh back in Egypt. Okay, but now this time there's 144,000, you know, Moses is walking the earth. 
see that we're gonna have spiritual power, you know, to plague, to plague the earth, and to, you know, perform spiritual, you know, miraculous acts, miracles, raise people from the dead. You know, these things are about to be shown forth. You know, because yes, you know, the wicked have a short time, you know, to, uh, you know, act up. You know, they got a short time to give it one last hoorah. But that's a short window. It's a short time for them to act up. But that's it. You know, but what the righteous out there, you know, you have everything to look forward to. Because you're about to see miracles that's going to have, you know, the leaders of this world baffled and total shock because they will not be able to explain it okay they're astrologers they're scientists you know they're smartest people from you know harvard you know all that no they will not be able to give you an answer the only thing they can do is look at each other and say you know now what now what do we do because the lord is gonna do miraculous miracles raising people from the dead the, the 144,000 are going to be able to manipulate the elements out here, you know? And that's literal. And to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So as soon as the Lord activates his 144,000, you know, you righteous out there, you know, that's going to be, you know, not, not that you need to see it, because, you know, we know that the hopeful elect, you, you know, you believe whether you see a chariot or not because you believe the Lord. But that's just going to be the extras that the Lord is going to show you. Because you believe in Him, because you're sacrificing, you know, the Lord is going to, you know, your works are not in vain. The Lord is about to show you a lot of things here very soon you know the Lord's saying you know just sit back you know relax you know don't be you know don't fear and just watch me work is what the Lord's saying the Lord's saying I'm stepping in now you know just you know just sit back and watch the Lord do his thing we got a lot to look forward to Akim and Aqua you know out there who believe in the Lord he's about to show us you know marvelous things that the world has never even seen before so who cares what the wicked do okay who cares about you know the persecution it does not matter the Lord is on his way rejoice Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 has thou not known has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Yeah, this is why none of the leaders, global, worldwide, cannot comprehend the power of the chariots, the so-called UFOs or the so-called UAPs. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Because the Lord is about to grant his 144,000 with spiritual power. The Lord and the angels do not sleep. You see, and one thing that you believers out there, the righteous, that you must know is that, you know, the wicked have power through the Lord, but on the left-hand side, you got to remember, they don't move according to their own will. It's all according to the Lord. You see, what you righteous got to know is that, you know, the Lord... And the angels, okay, they're not biting their nails, okay, they're not worried about the wicked. They know every move before they make it because they're controlling them. You see that? So the Lord says, do not be worried. Just as he helped you Israelites back in Egypt, he's going to help you, you know, in, in Babylon and different parts of the earth, wherever you elect are at. That's one thing that... You know, the righteous out there, the believers, you got, you must know is that the Lord is not nervous. You think the Lord is biting his nails, you know, because of the leaders of this world or about to, you know, uh, roll on his believers? No. 
the Lord's telling them to do to do what they do. This is what you got to understand, Akim and Akwath, is that the Lord is in control. You see? Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, but the young man shall utterly fall. Here we go. Here's the point. Isaiah chapter 40 and 31. This is talking about the 144,000 that the whole world is about to see real soon. You know, men, the 144,000 are literally going to be flying out here. You know, I know to, you know, you carnal, you know, uh, scoffers out there. You know, you, you know, you roll your eyes and you're like, no, nah, yeah, right. You know, it's not possible. But it is, and it is going to happen. You know? To those of you scoffers who are tuning in, you know, just keep your notes and just watch. You know, this ain't no debate, no argument. Just watch. You know? You see the so-called UFOs, don't you? See? So just... Just watch. Hang on to your notes and just watch. You know? The Lord is going to show the world that He's alive and that He is our Creator and He's been watching everybody this whole time, whether you're wicked or righteous. Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, shall renew their strength. See that? Because the Lord is telling us to just wait. Just wait. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, meaning they're going to be able to fly. They shall run like the flash. Literal. This is where these heathens get their, their, uh, you know, their ideas, you know, for, you know, Superman and all that. That all comes from the scriptures. And not be wary, and they shall walk and not faint, because... It's not like a Hollywood movie where, you know, the elect are going to have powers just for, you know, a couple hours and then it's going to run out. No, the 144,000 are going to be many most highs on the earth. You know, you bug out been watching too many Hollywood films. No weapon formed against the elect will prosper. They're going to be many most highs on the earth. Literal gods, powers. And the Lord's about to show us that. Because that's how he's going to show his power. It's through his chosen. His hopeful elect. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill. You know, those underground retreats out of the holes of the rocks. For my eyes, Jeremiah 16, 17, are upon all their ways. See, the Lord's watching everybody, whether you're on the surface, in space, underwater, underground. The Lord is watching everybody. So consider your ways. You know, that's on you. You know, you want to be wicked? Go right ahead, you know. Go ahead with your bad self. But it's going to hurt because the judgments were in the time of judgment. 